What are you doing in here? So do you have to like completely saturate it? Yes, and it's gotta be damp. <coughs> and I'm hoping it doesn't dry out too much in the time it takes me to tack it down. I'm just trying to get all the excess water out. It's already starting the stretching process, so. Hopefully it doesn't stretch out bigger than your frame. I mean, in an ideal situation that would probably be bad. It probably won't. So, I've just started the process of tacking everything down. Now, this edge is where I want it to be because it's where I started and it was nice and loose and where I wanted it to be. And then everything just got a lot tighter there as the stress wore on. So, I'm going to just keep this as is and really not stretch it too much, even though it kind of looks like I am. I'm not really putting a whole lot of tension on it because it doesn't need it. So all I'm doing is just going between the stitches here and I'm using some finishing nails and just tacking it down to the frame. It's still fairly damp so I've got some um, trash bags underneath it. I would do this outside but I don't want the blanket to get all dirty. Um, I'm just using some 17 by one and a quarter inch finishing nails and I'm using stainless steel because I didn't want any rust to happen and I didn't want it to get all over the blanket so if it did so I'm just getting this bottom edge going here and it looks like it might stretch a little bit so I may have to pull a little tighter at the top but so you're, are you putting those nails like in in the holes between the yes, in stitches the spaces, in the spaces yeah Okay, sorry, I missed that. Yeah. You better use the right hand at end of the hammer. Yeah, I'm working on it. You're making me nervous. I'm about liable to hit my thumb. I I'll do that. It'll create suspenseful videos, huh? I'm just putting these. I really don't have a whole um, process for it. But right now, I, I'm, these are actually kind of close, but I'm putting them relatively far apart because I only have about four boxes of nails that I purchased. So, and I'm just trying to get them centered on the middle of the two by four, but it doesn't out really have to be exact. So, and that really didn't go in and it hurt my finger. I wonder how many times that's gonna happen, this whole process. Given my track record, probably a lot. But, oops. Alright, I just want to get one of these in the corner at least. And then I can kind of go back and do what I need to do. Now normally when you're blocking something, you do this with pins and some sort of form, form sort of foam board but um I, it just isn't sturdy enough for a project like this so i'm not using foam board because there's no way it would work too flimsy yes much too flimsy i think i'll put another one right here so now i've got my bottom edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way up the sides and kind of go back and forth. And then as I go along, if it looks like it's curved like this, that's when I want to really stretch it. So I probably am going to have to stretch the bottom side, like I said, so I'm not originally planned for, but such is life and it'll be fine either way. So just trying to keep it all even. Okay, so I went ahead and changed my plan of attack here. Instead of just doing, working my way from bottom to top, I went ahead and tacked all the corners and measured midway down the longest sides, made a mark on the two by fours and 
put nails in the blanket where it's halfway through or halfway up the blanket and you can see how the top really needs to be stretched out like the bottom's doing okay it wasn't really that hard and it's going to help shape it better to where i want it but now the real test is going to be to stretch this all the way out and that's really where i'm going to need it and to be able to hold it there and that's why i needed finishing nails instead of just like staples or um, pins and a, a strong frame heavy duty frame so i'm going to continue working my way around the corners and the way i do it is i just go i pull from the center then i pull wherever there's that U shape, I just keep pulling until I get the U shape out of it and it's relatively straight along the edge. So, but it's coming along nicely and I hopefully will have it stretched and standing and ready to dry out so that I can weave in all the ends on the back um, and get it all done and give it to one of my favorite people, so. Sore. And in hindsight, I would say just always make sure that your tension stays loose whenever you're crocheting and don't pull too tight like I do. Again, it's not rocket science and some of the ones I put in I have to move back like I'll probably have to move this one back farther just because I'm able to pull the other ones back a little bit farther let's not spill those on the floor Not that hard to get out because I'm not hammering them all the way in. We're planning on reusing these two by fours for something else down the line and who knows what, but I don't want to put a bunch of nails in it that I can't pull out of them if we want to use them for something. Might be able to use these finishing nails elsewhere as well. kind of see the edges are starting to line up again versus over there where they just kind of bow in. This is the last part. This is the last part, yes. Just trying to get it stretched out even more. The other sides weren't as difficult. stretched up farther than I thought it would. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> this bit's a little bit uh, old pot to where it's got that roundness and I don't want that. What's round? The stripe, it's kind of curved. 
and I'd rather it be a little more straight like that. So I guess I'm gonna have to take these nails over here. Try and remedy that a little bit. Oops. Yeah, it's definitely not like that on this side. No. All the lines look pretty straight. Just comes with the territory, I guess. And this is supposed to be on the halfway mark, but it's not. I'm sure it'll be fine. Famous last words, right? Hmm. It's just a blanket. Ha. Huh. At least it's not just an outhouse. <laughs> Once this is stretched, then I'm going to weave in the ends because I figured there's no sense in weaving the ends in and then stretching it out only for the ends to pop out. So, yeah. So all we got left to do is right here. Uh, yeah, and there's little divots here that need to be stretched. There you have it. I put it in the last few nails and the one thing I'm concerned about is that that halfway mark doesn't line up with that halfway mark. I don't know, can you tell from up there? Hmm. This way. Not really. <laughs> okay, well that's good. Um, I think I am going to stand it up to dry with this edge at the top so that gravity kind of holes on it just a little bit and then I'll have to weave in the ends on the back. Um, there's a bunch of strings like this from yarn hanging down. So those will have to be secured. And other than that, it's just a matter of waiting for it to dry and gifting it because it's a month or two late <laughs> that it was supposed to be gifted. So there it is.